beloved. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. Thank you for your time. If you're keen on becoming a member of my Patreon and receiving weekly sign readings for as little as $10 per month, as well as personal readings for as little as $50 per month, you'll find the link to my Patreon listed in the description box below, all right? The description box below has the link that leads you directly to the website of my Patreon where you'll be able to sign up for weekly sign readings from as little as $10 per month, as well as personal readings from me every month from as little as $50 per month, all right? Also, you can type what is on the screen Google by Google, okay, and it will lead you to my website as well. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why we spiritually led here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? I'm channeling something here. I'm channeling a severe lie, okay? A severe lie that someone has told about you. It's like this is the sort of lie that escalates into more lies and can lead to certain damage or certain amounts of damage that can be done unto you or your life here. All right? Let's tap into the energy. We got the Ten of Pentacles to the Sun, all right? We have Virgo energy here, as well as Leo and Taurus as well. Social media, 
you know, and you connect with this person, and let's say you don't know one another. You are just connecting with one another to know one another. It's like the aim is to get to know one another, but you don't know one another. And it leads to obviously that phase of whether this be an acquaintance, a friend, you know, a relationship that is, is you are trying to build it with another person here. And whatever the dynamics of the relationship are, it, it, it doesn't matter. Let's take, for instance, just two people that don't know one another. You are one of those two people. You converse with this person in the regard of getting to know them. And let's say you fess up about certain things of your life that are personal, not to... It's like you are deliberately doing it, not in an unknowing way, like, oh... I shouldn't have told this, this person now. Nah. You are saying it because you mean it. Like, oh, this is what I've been through. Or this is actually who I am. And, you know, all these things. And let's say, for instance, the other person is not in that same mindset. They're not in the same vibration or even the same frequency wavelength when it comes to this whole dynamic of a relationship. Whatever you two would be to one another. Let's say in their mind, they want to, like, see you in a specific place. Like, they want to see you destroyed, you know what I'm saying? And they're building this trust in hopes that it can get them certain information about you that they can utilize to destroy you. And let's say, for instance, you don't give that person any solid information that is detrimental to your identity you just be yourself you don't know that you're speaking to a satan spirit you don't know that you're conversing with the devil you're just being you you're just opening yourself up to a person you know and in your mind it's like what harm can be done you don't want to live in the trauma of like this person could do this to me you're just doing it because you want to or you care to and fast forward coming back to the generalization of this message let's take this person, let's come back to this person. They've taken the information, whatever you've spoken to them about, however brief or in depth it was, they've taken it and they've stretched it out of proportion. Like you tell this person that this is this was a a a, a, a sequence of events that happened to you in your life. They will go tell all these 10 people diff or 10 plus different things. Like they told me that they went through this and then this and ha that happened. But let's say you didn't tell them that. You told them about one specific thing and they will drag it out and add things on top of it to make you seem a particular way unto the other people. That's exactly what happened here. That someone had a plan here to sort of destroy your image. And they started they started it off. They, they, they started the plot in their reality. We got the star. Okay, we got Aquarius energy. So this person... The reason they sort of chose you to, it's like this person sort of targeted you, okay? They targeted you here because of the energy you stand in. I feel like you're someone that stands out. You are not difficult to, to identify in a crowd, in a, in a space, all right? You are someone that people can easily pick up on or see, you know, whether they know you or not. So this person was taking advantage of the fact that you stood in a certain energy and the people in their reality, they were so enamored or keen about your identity, all right? It's as if this person didn't want the people in their reality to see you in this light that you actually stood in, like you're a good person or you radiate good energy or you stand in good light. All right, they wanted to change the picture and paint you to be somebody else that you're not. All right, 
Because secretly this person is jealous of you and the energy you stood in and still stand until this day, regardless of their little attempts, all right? This person was always jealous that you were shining. It's like with the star, you tend to shine or outshine people. People might tend to feel belittled in your presence or feel like your presence is intimidating or overwhelming and that is outside of what you are even trying to come off as. You are just being yourself. And this person here, they envied that about you, okay? We got the King of Swords. This person envied your energy. Like, I'm feeling that so strongly here. Like, it's like they wanted people to also... They wanted to take away that beautiful energy that people see in you and taint it with their words. Like with this King of Swords here, someone told a lot of lies. To the point where they now wrapped in the lies. Like they live in those lies. Till this day somebody speaks about you here with lies. We got the devil to the Ace of Swords. It's like such dirty lies, man. Like it's crazy. Like someone ain't right. I feel like this person never was right from the beginning of the whole interaction till the end. They just weren't. We got the three of cups. This person was interested in one thing: getting you to the point where you're so vulnerable with them that you trust them and see them at, in a particular way. And when they put you in that position, they wanted to take you out like that. Like, they told me this. And so now everybody must know that about this person. This person wanted your identity to be spread. It's like someone, like... It's like whatever you were trying to build with this person, they weren't interested in that. They wanted to destroy your life, like... Destroy your reputation, destroy your image. So you might have been telling someone something in confidence or in, in just your actual truth, but how they viewed it was, yeah, I have leverage. Now I have certain power over this person. Someone is a snake here. Someone is a Satan devil spirit of a person here. So something happened over time where things are no longer the same, right? Things are no longer the same as when you were once in this person's energy and when they had certain information that they thought was going to get you to be seen a certain way. Like things tend to die out with time, right? Things tend to change with time things tend to evolve you know transitions and all those things the shifts that occur and so this person they were targeting you in such a way that they had specificity like they were like details about you and your life that they spoke and you know when you speak something and it's not true a hundred percent it will backfire, you know? And especially because this person was spinning the narrative, was spinning the truth in such a way that it made no sense. And it's like, it was like outrageous. Like, what do you mean? Like, for real? It's like now, because they had to maintain the lies, because they had to keep it up, certain things had to keep being made up on top of the things that were already made up to cover the lies, to cover up the actual truth and to keep people in the same mindset that they started off with when it came to you. So if they were telling people that you are a promiscuous energy of a person, you just give it to everybody sexually or 
It's like saying that you are someone that is actually delusional in the mind. You're not saying like I feel like someone told like those type of like big lies where something to do with family, even like lying about your family and things that they don't even know. They just want to make it up to create that false narrative to lead people in the entrapment of seeing you a particular way because they're so envious so jealous and so insecure and miserable within themselves they can't let another person outshine them oh no they gotta uh, i gotta do this and say this about this person just so, like well here we go we got the six of swords this person has been watching you ever since you've disconnected. I feel like you 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 not only just disconnected yourself, you you changed. All right? You could have even changed in your physical appearance. Like you don't look the same. You don't you could not maybe you don't even speak in the same like there is a big transition that occurred in your identity. Mind you, this person has a whole lot of lies that they're already attached to your identity. Now, when you keep changing, when you keep evolving, when you keep moving forward and standing in these different energies, they can't keep up with their lies now because they've told so much of them. Now people, they, they remind this person, but you, you remember you once called attention to this person and you said that this happened or this was the truth, but like, it... What well, explain that? You know, or explain what just what we just saw, what we just it's like what we just heard. It's like somebody's lies are catching up to them here. The more the more they told the lie, they were sowing their own web here. They were planting a seed and it grew into this tree now that is just hovering over this person. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what it, the problem is? Yeah, I feel like the people that this person was communicating with, these are people that would love to be in your energy. These are people that have the opportunity to also take you to a specific chapter of life. It's like this person basically, they cause certain hindrances by these lies. Because these people here, they had a certain perception that they saw you in, like you stood in a good energy, good light, you had like a good heart, a good spirit, and now it was tainted as soon as this person showed up with the version of the truth of who you were that was totally falsified to fit their own little plot and scheme and their little twist of mind. This is a crooked ass delusional person here, if that isn't already established, because anyone that sits and speaks lies about someone to the point where you webbing a whole freaking like now it's like outrageous now you're just saying whatever something is wrong with you what is wrong with you because you are someone that this person feels be little around, like this person feels small in your energy, they feel this small. And whose problem is that? Who is the problem here? We got the Ten of Swords, okay? So we transitioned to the, from the Six of Swords to the Ten of Swords. It's as if this person, they are now in a position in their life where, as we've established, things are not the same. It's not like before when everybody was intrigued to know what this person got to say about you because these are people that would actually love to be in your energy, love to be, to hear from you. You know what I'm saying? What you got to say, who you are, where the mouth, you know, these are people that, you know, they would love to embrace your individuality. 
they were in any way that they 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 can in who they are in their reality in their world so that's what this person was trying to prevent right they were trying to prevent that from happening they didn't want you to be glorified or idolized and it's not that you wanted that for yourself it's just in the identity you stand and you can't help it it's just that so to the six from the six to the ten it's so symbolic it's as if that this person went from lying and then getting away with it in the beginning when people were intrigued to know the lies, but they didn't know it was lies because da da da, whatever. Now it's like that doesn't match up with what you told us like eight months ago, nine. Like you see the time span, eight months ago, nine months ago, ten months ago. You said this about this person, and you're still talking about this person as if they like this, but nothing that you've actually spoken is like nothing aligns. So this person from the first lie to the current lie, it's like they wear their own weave here and they sold it to the extent where now this seed that they've planted in the ground, in the soil, is sprouting, is growing, turning into this tree, right? And a tree, anything that you plant, let alone just the tree becoming a tree, takes time for it to really bloom into what it needs to be. And not just time, energy, effort, anything that it needs, you gotta do it, you gotta put it in, you gotta stay, you gotta, you know, all these things. And this person, it's like the same people that they were speaking to, the people that they're trying to withhold from you, they want to come forward. Like they sort of want to tell you what has been happening. Like, because their conscience is not sitting right with them. It's like they've been eaten up by a certain guilt because they've been consuming so much of this person's lives that it's tainted and clouded, clouded their judgment. It's like they don't know what to believe, but they know that they don't want to believe this person because ain't no way that you, you told us all of these outrageous lies. Now it's not even making sense. There's no way that you said all of these things and it just kind of seems like you're a hater at this point. Like, at first that we thought maybe this and that, but like now you, you seem like a hateful person. Like you just bashing this person, saying all types of things and it's not making sense why you're even saying because this person doesn't even seem to care about you. They seem to be fine. They seem to be doing them chilling, evolving, transitioning, shifting into their purpose. And you are stagnant in your energy and we're supposed to believe you. That's what I'm picking up here. It's like, in the end, it shows. Like, that's why you gotta be careful because from the first slide, you have to maintain it with the second line and it, 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 it weighs you down because you know already from that first lie it wasn't true and now you talked it off with those lies and now it's like a spirit is lingering now and you gotta feed it and with truth you don't have to do any of that because it what it is what it is it clarifies itself it embodies itself you don't have to keep trying to like it is what it is that's the difference between a lie and the truth. We got the tower. It's all blowing up in this person's face and they literally watching it happen. They literally watching how disinterested people are becoming in their little fairy tale stories. They watching how disinterested people have become in what they have to say about you. They're watching how people's just spirit and energy and they they curiosity level is just is it's no longer in the same place that it used to be in. And all in all, they feel like now they have themselves to blame because what was the reason? 
of the lies. But hey, justice, right? That's how God works, right? He brings someone into your life and he tests you in how you respond. You not knowing who that person is meant to be in other people's lives. You not knowing who that person is meant to be, period, in their life, in their world. You just running your little mouth because you are sad, miserable, and pathetic. And you can't accept another person's glory because you are not confident in your own. How sad, miserable, and pathetic of you as this person here. So, beloved, this person here, they just, it's just a lot going on. They have to sit in the energy that they've created because they've created this energy. We got the Eight of Cups. And it's something they came just up and 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 now it's like <laughs> they want to be in your energy so bad as well. They they wish that they could take it all back and just start over and not take the same approach that they once did. But there's nothing to start over with here. If this person were to even come into your energy and play kissy face, everybody would look at them as a bald faced lie that they are. Because how dare you say all these things about this person just for you to want to go kiss their ass, you sicko. What is wrong with you? How about you heal, evolve, tap into yourself so that you don't see the need to bring another person down because you are so miserable, sad, and pathetic within yourself. What's wrong with people? I mean, really. It's a lot going on here. Let's wrap it up. So ultimately, what was said about you was, it's like these people don't even believe the first lie. It's now everything is backfiring in such a way that they don't even care about this person and what they gotta say. Their care is in knowing the true you outside of what this person has already told them. So what does this mean? This person wasted their time, energy, and efforts into webbing a weave of lies that they have to now reside and live in. And they have to live with it every day. As you progress, you conquer, and you stay victorious in your energy. Not caring, not caring. They can have their little web of lies. Congrats to this fool, this fool. Foolish behavior. It will never get any of us anywhere. We got to stand in truth because the lies will catch up. And it won't be a pretty sight when it blows. And you, you're trying to, oh, it blew up. You should have told the truth. Motherfucker. All right. I'm out of here. Me call to end your message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. If you are keen on becoming a member of my Patreon, on there you will receive weekly signed readings from as little as $10 per month, as well as personal readings every month from as little as $50, all right? If you are keen on becoming a member, you'll find my link to my Patreon listed down in the description box below. Down in the description box below as well as on the screen. You can type what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it will also lead you to the website. You will also receive benefits on there once you sign up and pay. You will receive benefits such as one-on-one -on -one phone calls with me. You will also receive voting power where you get to tell me what you want to see more of over there. And also you get the exclusive access to be a part of a private community of people, of members like yourself, where we speak about life and things of that nature. I'll be also included in those conversations. I'm grateful for your time. Thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. All right, this was from God, the big G-O-D, <laughs> the biggest Lord. Oh, Lord, okay. Goodbye.